Greetings everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls. Comfy Time Gamer here. Showing off the retexture of the Caduceus Kite Shield. Actually a pretty sweet shield. I can praise it, yo. Uh, got a nice, it's only weighs uh, three units and it's got a little bit more stability than some of my crush shields. Uh, the resistances aren't as good, but they're not terrible either. It's a decent shield for me, to be honest with you. Um, but before we get into some more um, Demon's Ruins, I wanted to show this. This is actually uh, Hello, recorded. I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent. More than expected. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you and the secret of Seed's immortality. This was actually recorded before I even went to uh, Demon Ruins. The secret of Seed's immortality. If you were fought him and were imprisoned, you must know that Seed is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Sith when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happens, the primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the crystal forest. The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent, a great pool of knowledge, the fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say he had an unsound fixation, but his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful scale. Very, very, uh, very, very interesting dialogue from, from Big Hat Logan here. Um, yeah, his, Logan's desire for knowledge uh, is, to me, blinding him to the, the injustice that's going on here. I mean, he's completely overlooking the, uh, the whole, you know, kidnapping of maidens thing to, uh, because he's just, you know, gushing over Cease's uh, store of knowledge here. But, uh, he does have some sweet spells. Um, I think I pick up Crystal Spell. Anyway, like I said, this was recorded before I went to Demon Ruins. Um, and I actually did venture, um, out into the courtyard and into the very beginning of the, uh, um, Crystal Garden or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, it's... I'd been spending so much time in the Duke's archives as soon as I found out that it was a, another platforming type area with biting golems and after I fell off a couple times, I you know, I just was not in the mood to take uh, that area on at the time. So that's when the whole, uh, that's when I started the whole, what, two, three parts ago. Um, the area of... Uh, the knowledge here is limitless. I would absorb it, then share it checking out um, Demon's Ruins and then trying to find the path to Lost Isolith. So I just wanted to show this to you though because I did um, I did see this part and hear this dialogue. You really are very um, oh, I understand. We are in the midst of a revolution. Okay, big hat. Calm down there, big guy. And this little part right here is part of the exploration because it uh, so it fits into our story, so I wanted to include it. Um, this uh, crystal golem, which you can actually, uh, I mean, the last crystal golem we ran into had dusk and, tr and imprisoned in it, so I was kind of curious of who's in it. And it's kind of weird because if you look really, really close at that top, uh, crystal 
you can see that there's something or somebody inside of it, which is really, really fucking cool. Um, God damn it. I always get clipped with, like, the, uh, the end pixel of that, uh, attack. Anyway. First, I thought this was, uh, Siegmeier, but... It is not. I thought he had gotten trapped, then I realized, oh, wait a minute, that's not a... That's not his Y-hander. You, you rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Zeglund of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. Oh, goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well, then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now we shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. So this is Sieglind of Katarina. Apparently oh, this is... Oh, goodness. I knew... Well, then... Uh, Siegmeier's, uh, daughter. And she's looking for him. And she almost has, like, the tone of, like, uh, a, ch uh, a child looking for, uh, <laughs> like, a senile adult. So I don't, it, who, you know, like, in a, like, in a, on the verge of dementia who just sort of wanders off from the house. I, I don't, I'm not sure quite how to take that, but, uh, that was definitely, a. Uh, very unique character and a nice, nice surprise and, and an additional flavor to uh, um, Siegmeier's uh, story. So anyway, cut, we're cut back here into the uh, ruins. I just want to, again, I just wanted to show those um, because I thought that they were important. Um, but let us, Jesus Christ, it's like, how many fucking bosses am I going to fight here? We've already done Ceaseless. We just fought the Fire Sage Demon. There. Now there's another Fog Gate. Fucking crazy. Um, so obviously we're obviously we're back to post commentary, so this is uh this will be the centipede demon fight. Or, son, yeah, he's a, he is a demon. Yeah, centipede demon. Uh, and I guess not too hard of a fight. Um, I mean, I die several times, but uh, the environment is more um, dangerous than the than the boss himself. I don't give you too much room to work. I don't. don't like uh, when they do that. Um, but, you know, whatever. Like the Capper Demon, that was that was pretty uh, shitty of them to put you in that shoebox. Um, Fire Sage with all of the... Uh, Fire Sage room wasn't actually too bad, it's just that... Um, there's so much environmental shit that gets in your way that can keep that can hinder your movement and give you some cheap deaths, but I wasn't exactly fighting him that great anyway, but got the job done. Solaire, buddy, let's do this, man. Praise it. Come on. What do I want? Should I just stick with this? I don't know what sort of damage this guy's gonna do. Everything down here is fucking fire, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna be blocking attacks or not. Fuck it. Let's get the stamina going. Stupid root. 
Let's do this, Solaire. Come on, buddy. And there's that fucking thing. I love how that thing was there the whole time. I mean, I even... I even made a comment about it. I was like, is this thing fucking alive? Um, it was just a weirdly placed thing if they were, you know, going to be, if it was, because it was statuesque, you know, it was like it was made out of stone, but uh, apparently it's alive. Um, I actually really like how this boss looks. I love his, like, centipede arms. Ouch, okay. Roll, stupid. And first, uh, <laughs> first encounter. Um, great job, man. Great job. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, whatever. Dark Souls. Oh, wait, I need to be. Yeah. I definitely want Solaire because I want, um,. I'm so, I'm too high level to really do any co-op with some of these co-opable bosses to get sunlight medals, so uh, I'm finding it difficult to rank up in the uh, Warrior Sunlight Covenant, so not only do we need Solar, but we also need Solar to survive. Anyway, um... The lava, you know, they give you this little area here to work with. And, okay. I think maybe I went into the room a little too early on the first one because I want him to kind of hoping. Well, he's coming for me. I'm hoping he aggroes at Solaire a little bit and let him tank for me so I can beat up on him. Are you going to close the distance, fuckhead, or what? I do like the boss, um, his attacks are pretty limited, but art, art style wise, get out of the fucking lava, Solaire, Jesus Christ, uh, art style wise, what the fuck, yeah, this part where you can cut off his arm, at first I thought that that was a little, and then it drops this item, which I'm, fixated on right now while Solar's getting eaten. Let go of him, you fuckhead. Oops. Shit. Baba. Yeah. Throw some lightning at him. Quit standing in the lava. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. So this confined area here also leads to some really shitty camera. Um... Camera, camera angles. I don't know. It's he fucking died. Okay, well, Solaire's dead. So no, oh, I don't have any homeward bounds. All right, well, kill me. <laughs> Centipede Demon says, I will oblige you, sir. Yeah, look at that. You just saw the fire blasting out of his eyes there. Very cool. Um, what are you going to do? Yeah, I like the, I mean, I like the boss itself. Um, it, his attack set is a little, you know, pretty simplistic. Um, but definitely looks cool. Um, it's my kind of boss. I love these you know, this... I find centipedes creepy anyway, you know? Like, so... Yeah. Come on, man. Get closer. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I wonder if you can cut both arms off. 
I don't know. Is he chomping on him? Let go of him. Are you fucking kidding me? You see that shit? Nice hitbox. Oh. Romper stomped. Okay, don't stand underneath him. Got it. Dude. You'll see what I mean about the, uh... I should have used some light, sunlight blade instead. But whatever. Uh, the camera angle starts getting a little crazy here. And, uh... I just compensate by hacking my way. Hack, 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 hack. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, man. You survived. Praise it. My boy. We got your medal, man. 40,000 souls. Um, while we run around the room here, uh, I wanted to you know, address sort of... Uh, I've had more than one person comment being about um, how over-leveled I am. Look, guys, I... You know, I... <laughs> I don't know what level I'm supposed to be or what people are supposed to, you know, what level people usually take take on certain bosses. Um, yes, I have done. This is, I mean, this is my first time playing the game. I don't know if, uh, if I, you know, obviously I've over farmed in a lot of spots. I mean, I have. I've spent, <laughs> I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours farming. Um, as soon as I would get an ember and then find a place uh, where I would find a drop, I would spend hours farming to maximize my gear and weapon. I don't know. That's just sort of how I play or played. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so, as far as being over-leveled, um, you know, my apologies for that. I, you can you can write it off to uh, being new to the, the, the Souls series. Um, you know, a lot of other games, which, and I will state at the very beginning, you know, have systems in place where the enemies level with scale with you, which I don't particularly like. I'm not going to say that that's, that's a good way of handling things, but, you know, this is my first run. Cut me a little slack, man. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm still learning, so. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh man, cheer up, Solaire. Come on, man. It's very interesting, um... Come on, man, praise it, bud. Um... There's been a lot of, uh... This is the third dialogue with Solaire, um... First at the Overlook, second at the Sunlight Altar, and then now down here in Lost Isolith. In each, each incidence, he has increasingly became uh, less confident with himself, almost like he's losing, um, he's losing hope. And uh, I don't like that. He's. Uh, I don't have many pros left. They've all died. To be honest with you. Um, so I'm hoping that's not any sort of foreshadowing. That would really fucking piss me off. Um, finally we make it to Lost Isolith proper. Um, or I should say the outskirts of Lost Isolith. And I, it's really, uh, an interesting looking area. Um, and it looks very, um, I, I can't think of what country, um, maybe in South America, uh, 
I can't think of the particular civilization or culture, but those uh, ziggurat-looking um, structures are... I don't know if, if the creators took that from... Um, took that inspiration from a real real life location but it looks definitely like something that I've seen before you know I like um <clears throat> I like travel shows I like learning about the world I like history I like stuff like that I wish I yeah I don't I don't know um the uh ancient culture that had this sort of uh architectural look but um it just seems very familiar to me um so if you do know what that is, go ahead and feel free and comment. I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind knowing if there's some sort of, uh, real-life basis for this particular area right here. Loving this fucking charred ring, man. Okay, some of you dickheads are alive. These enemies are... kind of stupid enemy. And then there's these... Fuck, I'll just call them T-Rexes. I don't know what the fuck they are. T-Rex skeletons? Uh, just sort of placed all over in the area, but they don't... They're not really aggroing um, to me, so... I don't know. There's a lot of them. And, uh... I don't know, I might fuck around with them off-camera, but... I see no reason to engage them if... I think it's weird that they don't put any on your direct path, e either. Which is, I don't know, it's strange. leveled one here. I mean, I'm even getting fairly... You're fairly close to that one right there. and He, he doesn't give a fuck. I don't know. Weird looking enemy. Um, perhaps we'll, we'll play around with him if I can get up on... If you can, I saw a path up, but... What about you? Oh! Oh shit, bonfire. Be wary of dragon. I can't take this. Uh, that's actually awesome. I bet a lot of people miss this. Uh, the, uh... The first cigarette has a door. It's it's on the same side as the first cigarette that had an inside uh, inside door with that treasure chest. So pay attention, make connections. I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't know. I really like the look of this area. I don't like, um, these... Oh, okay. I like this architecture. Um, I don't... Ooh, there's treasures over there. Okay. I don't particularly like, um... When I see... Copy pasted enemies, um, which they have obviously done here. They also did it with the, that whole slew of Taurus demons after uh, you're able to access that bottom area um, after defeating Ceaseless Discharge. Um, yeah. I don't want to say lazy, but if you think about it, there's. Not a whole lot of enemy variety um, 
in this whole entire demons ru demon ruins lost isolate area i mean they're they're reusing capra they're reusing taurus um these are unique the stupid little fire blob guys are unique okay i need to clear that path so i can get to those treasures but a lot of um I don't a lot of copy paste which um, I don't particularly like I think it really detracts from the uh, the the artwork of the, um, the level the area itself he's just okay very ingenious AI okay here dropping anything either it just looks I mean if you look out over there it just looks messy and stupid it really does it looks messy and stupid and lazy and I hate to say that because uh, you know I really really have been enjoying this game I still am it's just I don't know I know um I know that there's a lot of cut content in this game. I know that there was um, production deadline concerns. I mean, whole like the whole Oscar of Astora thing, which was a really, really could have been a really, really cool key concept to the game, was completely cut. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's better to wait. Divine blessings. Wow, really? Handmaidens of Guinevere down here, possibly. Interesting that those items are here. Um... This part's going to be right around 30 minutes. Um, I think I'll take the last little minute here to talk about actually what what Logan, um, some of the stuff that Logan was saying about Seath um, and the Primordial Crystal. Um, that's obviously why we couldn't do anything in that sort of a fake boss room. You're expected to kind of confirm that you're expected to die there. Um, so obviously we need to uh, get into the inner sanctum there inside the the crystal garden or whatever the hell it's called and uh, deal with him down there. But he has some sort of crystal that he stole from the uh, his dragon kin that is keeping him that I guess is keeping him immortal, which I don't, which is sort of weird because trying to find out where I need to go here, guys. Um, which is kind of weird, because I thought it was their... their scales that were... is what gave them their immortality. Um, and Seath without his scales was not immortal. Um, I don't know. But obviously they also have some sort of primordial crystal that also grants immortality. Which, big fucking shocker. That's, you know, Cease really into crystals. Now we, you know, I guess that makes sense now. Um, yeah. We're just out, about a just about out of time here, guys. Um, we're getting uh, into 
lost Isolith, um, the internal part of it. And uh, I think we're going to cut away right up here. Um, and uh, as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll pick up here in the next part, guys. Thanks for watching.